Hello, everybody. Welcome to URL Ultimate Rocket League Finals. We've got All Star Finals today, but I mean, honestly, we couldn't ask for a better weekend so far. We've had an amazing Contender Finals, an amazing Legend Finals. Now we've got All Stars coming up here. Ultimate Stoll, nowhere near being scheduled per usual, um, but we roll on. With me in the booth today, Mr. Crazy Monkey. We haven't seen him in a while, so please give him a warm welcome. Dude, how you doing? I'm happy to be back. <laughs> I've missed this. It's nice to have you back. It's been a little while. We've definitely missed you. Uh, it's going to be nice to talk about what these cars look like today, especially since McNair's yeah. in this game. Uh, I, know oh. that, I know that he's, uh, he's a big favorite of yours with the, uh, with the car designs. Yep. Hopefully we, we see one of his good ones today. Absolutely. Uh, well, it does look like just about everybody is in this lobby, and I know that we have kept them for long enough. So let's go ahead and get this started without anything else. Uh, I don't know if you personally know anything else about these two teams, uh, but I think this is going to be a, a pretty good uh, pretty good little matchup here. From the east, we've got the Georgia Outlaws. From the west, we've got uh, the Idaho Elk. Elk being crazy in every single category. Uh, this season making it to the finals haven't actually won a finals yet uh, So it'll be kind of interesting to, to see whether or not they'll be able to come away with one this season or, not, or whether or not the outlaws will go ahead and leave the only lasting opportunity for finals The ultimate team that hasn't even scheduled their game yet Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, they gotta save the best for last sometimes but We're just gonna see what happens here. No, I do see some fresh today though I do see some good cards too, and I know that Crimson uh, likes to use this car. You haven't even seen Crimson yet, um, so that could definitely be good. Claps using his good old slurp slurpy decal. Um, but let's talk about these two teams real quick. Uh, yes. I, I put out in the announcement specifically that these guys were all veterans as Espy starts off the score for the Elk. Big score uh, from All-Star here, but these are, this is a big veteran game. Claps, everybody knows him, everybody loves him. He's been here since UNL Season 2. Uh, you look at the other part of that team, and you got Crimson, and he's been here since day one. Uh, he is the original founder, owner of the London Cobras, who have found so much success this season. Uh, and then you've got on the Elk, you've got McNair, who's also been here since season one uh, of UIR, UNL. And then, you know, obviously, sv has been here for a while. But, you know, these guys are looking for championships. This is a star-studded lobby that we've got right now with, with veterans and, and guys that absolutely bring everything that they have to the table. Yeah, I mean, they've been here for a very long time. And, I mean, they're still here, you know, trying to get a chip right now. But, um, so far, not much in this game. One goal mm -hmm. from SB in the beginning. But, been tied so far. Could see something here from Crimson now. It's gonna be tossed away by the Elk. Well, let me talk to you about this Outlaws real quick. Uh, this Outlaws team definitely took a couple of turns towards the towards the end of the season, adding Crimson to the roster after drafting him at the beginning of the season, uh, dropping him in the middle. Certainly uh, some ups and downs. I know the cool kid, uh, the yep. third member of this Elk roster, also uh, not He's able to make it tonight. Azira in his place. Uh, but you look at these two rosters, you see how these guys like to play and, you know, the Outlaws have found a lot of success in the air. They're very fast, they're very mechanical. Uh, and I think that the Elk and the other team, you know, kind of the counter that. Uh, they're going to take it, they're going to, you know, put it where the Outlaws aren't going to be able to find it and they're going to take it slow. Uh, the overcommits are going to kill the Outlaws if they keep letting it happen. But yeah, as you said, right now there's not a ton going on. It's, it's kind of just batting the ball back and forth. You know, it, there's not really a play to be made. It's it's kind of just whoever finds the ball touches it, and that's what you have to remember. You know, after Legends last night, this is down a couple pegs. All Star is All Star is kind of that that lobby where you don't really know what you're gonna see, but you're not surprised to see anything. You know what I mean? Right, right, yeah. I don't know. I feel like we haven't seen much, right? But the second we see something, we're gonna start seeing a lot. That could uh that could have been a good start for like Crimson, but SP was there. And there's oh, McNair. Oh boy. Oh my. Nice read there by him. Great demo by Espy. It almost just looks like Claps tried to take him out and missed. McNair's gonna find the score there though, and, and that's just a great pass from Espy. You know, we've we've talked about these two teams. We see what they're able to do. The Elk have 
been the team putting up right now though after by the way the outlaws have went completely perfect on their on their route to the playoffs in, in their route in the playoffs they have not dropped a game in the playoffs yet they won 3-0 their first game they won 3-0 their next game they 4-0 uh the only team to 4-0 in the semis uh and now here they are down two with two minutes left to go they certainly don't want to start dropping games now but it looks like the elves just have all of this this pressure to start off as sp gets a little clear here uh it's it's gonna fall to the outlaws to see if they can just keep up any type of pressure uh, break out the mechanics start pulling out the demos on the elk i mean it's it's up to the outlaws how they want to play this game but they certainly need to start making something happen because right now it's it's kind of just falling into the elk's lap yep they have like a minute 30 to get two goals definitely possible but we're definitely gonna have to start seeing a lot for them here if they want to have something but here's sp with a sh Ooh. what a save by crimson what a save diving from the other side here's a pass from sp2 back there who's gonna score it in mcnair's so good honestly <laughs> I, I just i don't even know what to say i'll be honest with you mcnair for me is one of those guys that like you get to meet him and you know he's just he's all just great vibes you're playing with him he's a great dude i, I mean, i've had every great experience with him that there is to have uh, it's a fake here from the Outlaws, but back to McNair. Stellar player, stellar guy, and he's having a game here today. Him and Espy are the perfect team for this Outlaws team to be playing. Um, and, and they've shown why so far, and it's awesome stuff. Yep. And his cars are cool. <laughs> not, not today, though. Not, not, that. not today, he didn't not bring, today. He didn't bring his A game today. It's okay. Dude, the Outlaws got some nice looking cars, though. Claps with the, with the yeah. little Slurpee decal. Crimson's got a nice little colorful Sherpa. Gets a little touch down the front, and it's McNair with the boom. Finds goal number four, and the Elk are comfortably in the driver's seat right now. Game one, definitely going to Idaho, unless the Outlaws somehow are able to figure this out. Um, it looks a little bit weird from the Outlaws, though. It just doesn't look like it's fluent. I mean, they're down four, but they could just they can pull like an end point against BDS. <laughs> you know, come back with four goals for some reason. You know, it could happen. It certainly but could, but you have to remember, it's, it's SB on the other side of it. Is that going to happen? Yeah. I personally don't see it happening. <laughs> but, but hey, it, they just they just got to keep going. Got to keep driving forward. Yeah. Maybe try and get a go for the road. Get that momentum. Yeah, even just one. I mean, at this point, you just have to kind of, you kind of just have to shut the door. You have to stop the bleeding. You know, they've they've started scoring. You just need one. You need one to just feel a little bit better about yourself. Just just one to start getting some momentum. Um, I think Claps and Crimson were definitely not on the same page this game. But I also think that they had to take a game to kind of figure out how the Elk were gonna play. I know that they've scrimmed before. These two teams always been in each other's throats. Um, but yeah, game one going to the Elk. McNair with a hell of a game and SV. Uh, you know, right there, too. The defensive factor from Espy is massive. Uh, while McNair hits all those offensive shots. Meanwhile, the Georgia Outlaws had no offense. Six shots. Um, but, yeah, nothing nothing to write home about. You know, just going to have to check this one game off. Go to the next one. See what you can do to improve. But let's, just, let's see what happens. This thing. Georgia Outlaws not able to find a win in game one and not what they want as they take their first playoff L of the season. Uh, and that's another crazy piece right there. But we are going to go ahead and get back into this game uh, for game two. Who do you who do you have in game two? And, and I mean, is it any difference than this game right here? Like, I mean, obviously, the Outlaws did not look warm. They didn't look their best. But what are we seeing in game two? I think the Outlaws come out strong in game two. Yeah, maybe score like a goal or two, but then the Elk just come back, score, and just win the second game. Yeah. That's what yeah. I see happening. I can, I can totally see that happening. Um, I like I like Georgia Outlaws, and I like what they're able to do, but you're right. It's all about what they do and, and whether they're able to do it. And we didn't see any passes. We saw them consistently on those back heels of theirs, uh, not able to really make a ton of plays, but just kind of waiting for plays to come to them. Uh, the Elk kind of making the majority of the moves. I'm waiting for just one here, and it's the Outlaws who started off, and it's Claps. Stops the bleeding, slaps the bandit on there, and says, all right, it's my turn. Crimson, step up, let's go. And there you go, it's the Outlaws who start off the scoring. Top three seconds, by the way. Yep. They're wasting no time. 
Already getting one on the board. Looking for another here, and that's Crimson with a shot. He's gonna be there. Crimson change his car or just the colors of his car? Because that's a completely different car that he had. Makes it's the same different though. Color. It different is, color. okay. I like wow. it, I like it. Oh boy, claps almost, almost with a, there. The quick little play there, but it's gonna be Crimson left to defend, and I feel like that's kind of what's been uh off for the outlaws. It's been the double commits. The elk have kind of yeah. just walked in in each ball to the net. You know what I mean? It's 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 kind of just looks too easy up to this point. Yeah, for sure. Some, maybe they're just trying to go a bit faster than they should have. But here's Crimson. Does get it over one, but can't get it past Aspy, who's now gonna do a counter attack here. Can't get the touch he wants. Yeah, I love that card. I, I love the purple, I love <laughs> the pink, I love the I love every part of it. But this is gonna find its way to collapse, and Crimson almost gets the redirect shot off the pass. McNair with the intercept down the side, and can the elk convert here? They have to be not gonna be able to oh hold on he's gonna put it in are you for real right now that's ridiculous i was just about to say that sp couldn't do it and then i realized that sp's gonna put this ball in and look at this control on the ball right here he gets the flip that's ridiculous that's never absolutely doubt. ridiculous never doubt that man right, listen i've doubted him for the entire year that i've known him and he's just given me every reason to show me why he's not to be doubted right now um unfortunately you know, he's just going to have to figure out more ways to do stuff like that. Uh, it's not going to be an easy game for Crimson and Claps to be able to kind of just run away with here, especially with SB in the net. McNair off the backboard. Oh, and it's a great save by SB himself. There's a bump coming there from Claps. Going to give Crimson the ball. He does have space here to do what he wants. Going to get the second touch, but it's not going to be enough. McNair with the clear. Gonna see Claps taking the ball there, SP to the backboard. McNair's up. Oh no. Oh, Claps not able to find the ball off the wall, but gonna catch it. Gets the flick, finds the demo. It's gonna be Crimson caught out in midfield. SP with the save. I'm not really sure what that's about. I think that ball probably goes in if he doesn't touch it though. I think you should have redirected. Uh, it definitely could have been. That's good definitely thinking. something speed goes for. <laughs> not a good execution there, but. That's the type of things that could get your lucky goal in. That is true. Go in, so. I mean, listen, on the biggest stage that there is on stream, if he hits that, I mean, listen, that's that's nightmare fuel at that point. You know what I mean? The, the outlaws wouldn't have stand, stood a choice if he hits that. Yeah, definitely he mentality down if you get hit by that. Crimson going to take a little catch here. McNair with the intercept looking for the center. Not able to find it. And both of these outlaws guys, you know, they're giving up the ball. The elk are just taking possession every single opportunity that they can. Yep. I feel like if any of these guys just go for a fake, they might actually get it. But we haven't seen much of that. I think they'll definitely get it. I think these guys are so on edge right now, looking to challenge everything, looking to just get the ball out of their control whenever possible. No touch. Make Make it there. Can't no. find it. SB gonna be able to take the second shot and gonna have a second look at it. A play in the 50 from Claps. As the ball's gonna be out at mid. Claps gonna find the beat. He's gonna have a wide open net and he's gonna. I don't even know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try to get it there. McNair gets the block. Crimson with there. the fake like, challenge. Like That's the one. Oh, uh, yeah. SB's there. Gets the touch. 1 1 though. Much closer game than last game. And, and we're definitely starting to see the mechanics come out from these guys. Yes, mechanics are good. Let's see what Crimson can do here. Not much, but shot there. Claps gonna be there. Pass to Crimson. Gonna get it off the wall. Maybe try and center it. Gonna get 50 up to Claps. Demo oh. there by Crimson. This is a huge play. If Crimson can get there, Crimson already in the air. Misses the ball. It's gonna fall back to Claps. It's a 1v1 situation. Claps waiting patiently, does get it past one. As he's gonna take it back to his corner. Speed dribbling and, up. Oh no, the high five in midair. <laughs> Little love tap. There's Crimson. Tries to redirect it. 20 seconds left. Claps 
from the corner. He's going to put it in. Wow. Clap. Oh, my. See, this is, this is where the outlaws are going to shine, though. It's this pressure, this absolutely ridiculous offensive pressure that they find. When they get the ball and they start dribbling it up the walls and they're getting space, you don't stand a chance when they're in your half. They're going to find a way in. They're going to get the 50. The teammate is going to be ready for it. Claps. Going to get a center down the other Crimson. way. Crimson with the finish. And the Outlaws are alive. They say, don't forget about us. We're still here. And this is great work from the Outlaws. The East team coming to play. Rallying back from last game. The Oak were blinded by the lights. Blinded by, I love it. Blinded by the lights. Call me the weekend. Because I am <laughs> blinded by the lights. But the outlaws are definitely, they're definitely still gonna have some work to do. They looked good right now, but we both know the elk will be able to pick it up just as fast as they might have lost it. Crimson looking for one more. Gets a little, uh, gets a little greedy there. Uh, can't find it. Could be a giant difference maker not having that goal, by the way. Yeah, definitely. See what happens next game, but outlaws came, came looking strong there in the last. 50 seconds. Dude, I, got him that one. It just makes me think that we're definitely still in line for a great finals. That this isn't just going to be a blowout. Both of these guys are going to be able to hang with each other. You know, like I said, this game is fated to be great. We have so many veterans in this game, so many OGs, people with championships. Like, this is people going for their second URL championship right now. SB's got one in season two. Crimson has been coaching teams forever. I don't think he's actually got one, but he's definitely got semifinals and finals performances. You know, he's got accolades to his name. McNair, uh, no finals, but obviously had a great season in threes. Uh, on claps yeah. with a win last season. Looking to be the, set, the only, by the way, looking to be the only player to repeat a championship from last season. Oh. Would be claps because he had it from the peaks. That's big pressure right there. It's massive pressure. Um, so we'll have to kind of see what's going on. But listen, I don't I don't really have too much else to say. Uh, I think there needs to be more demos. I think whatever team demos a little bit more is certainly going to be able to uh, find a little more space and, and probably going to get an upper hand here. Because I certainly think that, yeah, they're, they're pulling out all the mechanics. They're pulling out everything that they can. Uh, the bumps in the demos are inevitably going to come out here soon. Yeah, I want to see a fake. I, I don't know why I recently have been a fa uh, just a fan of... <laughs> Team fakes. So I just want to see someone just keep, like get faked so bad they can fly across the net. It's just crazy. But we are gonna start the game here. No kickoff goal this time. But here's Claps. Does take it over both of them. Does get a pass to Crimson. Who's gonna put it in? Starting off strong from the last game. Yeah, I mean, Claps with a great little pass there. Obviously, SB definitely can't make that read. That's a great pass by Claps. He slides it right in there, and yeah, Crimson's going to go ahead and just toss that one in. And that's an easy first goal for the Outlaws, who, when they find the first goal, they're they're ready for it. They, they find that score, they find that momentum, they take it with them, and they use everything they can. SB going to leave this one right out in front of the Elk net. McNair going to find a little awkwardness here as Claps takes it off to the wall. Shot here from the Elk as Crimson makes the save. Both Outlaws players kind of just jumping around here. Monkey and as one does, just one after another. Crimson almost with the double there. And he's going to have to knock this one off as Claps gets demoed. Here we can see Espy going for something. Does get the 50, but Claps is going to take it to his corner. 50 there. Deppin says he knows why you're a fan of fakes. Because of him? <laughs> Devin, Devin's just been... I've been playing a lot with Devin. Devin goes for so many fakes. But he's trash, so we don't talk about the Dolphin, oh, man. Oh, wow. How unfortunate. But I know. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Crimson almost with the Doomsy. And Crimson is, is starting to play out of his mind right now. Gets back to make the clear. And it's going to be Claps with a 1v1. The flick. And can he stay on for the shot? There it is. Top left. And it's Claps with goal number two for the Outlaws. What what a job. I mean, just a way to stay what with it. Shot. What a shot. My goodness, Everything he's so good. Perfect. I mean, the Outlaws are up by two. The Elk. We know they can do it, but 
We gotta start something now. Here's class with a fake. Oh my goodness, he's wanted the fake. Thing, yeah. You wanted the fake. I wanted it. I, it, I mean, he did it. So. It's coming. It's, it's definitely yeah. coming. McNair's definitely got yeah. this in his ears right now. He knows that you want a fake. He's going to get you one. Brimden. Yeah. Going to get it clear, though, and it's going to fall back to the Elk. SP with the Stop shot. It. Oh, this could be trouble. They're McNair. coming back with another shot. That was almost, almost. detrimental. Oh. That was almost really bad. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate, but it looks like the... Not much boost here on the Ala side. Looks like Crimson's collecting pads, but here comes Espy. Does get the flip. Gonna be sent to the side. Crimson's there. Gonna get a flip reset. Gonna get a touch over one. Gonna be sent to the corner. Pass back to Claps. Claps oh. can't get that touch. Yeah, and he has to absolutely take that one off and make sure. Gets the bump on Espy. That works just as well as getting the boost and balling it out. Uh, but it's gonna be Claps with the push out here. No boost to speak of as McNair takes the ball from midfield, gets the gets the boost. Uh, but it's Crimson who's going to ultimately get the control here. It's going to be a 50 back and up to Claps to make the stop. Claps, Claps take this up here and it's going to be tough and out to Crimson. In the corner. He missed the boost. Yeah, that's tough. Not you need that. On this. <laughs> well, they are winning, so they just have to waste time here. You think it's just gonna be keep away from this point on? You just mechanics and just do whatever you want if you're collapsing Crimson? Basically. I mean, if you get a shooting opportunity, you, you know, shoot it, but. Yeah, that's true. Just play around with these. Like right here, Crimson's gonna shoot it in. Gonna Off get another goal. From Crimson. And he has been. Uh, he's been the player to speak of right now in this game. Been all over the place. Crimson with the giant block. Bosses in middle and. Listen, Crimson, when he steps up, when he steps up, he steps up. You know, it, it, it is just that simple. He's called Crim Killer for a reason. You obviously know Chris Killer. Uh, of course. You know, we talk about it every time it's like this, but it's it's the resemblance is crazy. You know, when Crimson's on his game, and, and it really, you know, that's definitely not what we want to talk about with that. Uh, <laughs> but when it does work, it does work. Right there, that's, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, I think you should just stop talking about people because it just never works. It doesn't, it doesn't. I just have the ability to play a game like that. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. It's rigged. It's all rigged. It's all rigged. I wrote the script last night. You wouldn't believe me. It's a good script. It's a good script. Crimson with a crazy block. Look at his Another dunk. block. I just, I, how is, I don't know how he keeps dunking the ball like that. But Crimson are just touching balls. I mean, what? <laughs> I said it. Yo, that is a wide open net. McNair misses it. Here comes Claps. Gonna take it over one. Now in the corner, McNair's gonna be there. Touch from Claps there. Gonna be sent. What, what are we doing here in the middle? I don't really know. What, what, what is happening? This is better not be an own goal. It's Close. Close, but Crimson gets the goal. Crimson made the read there. Espy really didn't have another place to put this. Espy's got very little boost. Has to make that sort of touch. Crimson's just there off the read. Uh, and that's that's as good as an own goal, honestly. We saw this 4-0 to zero at the beginning of the game for the other team. The Elk were the ones up. But now it's the Outlaws who are absolutely just ravaging. Yeah. 4-1. I don't remember what the last score was, but it was 3-1, I believe. Right. So. I, think, I think it was close, right? Leak script. <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, it's Aspie here. He's going to take not a goal. Unfortunate. Maybe. To the backboard. Nobody's going to touch. Ah, oh, no one's there. 10 seconds left. Not much you can do here if you're the elk. Maybe get a goal for the road. Two yeah, seconds. Not gonna even. Be down. Yup. Another one for the Outlaws. Not a surprise here after the way that they've been playing. Uh, it seems like they've just completely changed their play style. Crimson uh, has been alive and they've been making the most out of every single pass, out of every single play, every single opportunity that they can, honestly. Uh, and they just look awesome right now. The Elk, however, I don't, I don't really know what's going on with them. They just, they haven't looked the game since game one. They haven't just looked... I don't really know what to say. They're slipping, man. They're slipping. Definitely slipping a little bit. 
Um, hopefully they'll be able to pick it up. Uh, maybe make a, I don't even know, a, a late, a second half run. You know, maybe get to, I mean, what are we at right now? It's it's two to one in the Outlaws' favor. Another one, and they're on game point. So you certainly don't want that. I think if you're the Elk, you have to figure out what's going wrong in this next game. You need to put it at two and two. That way you don't have as much to work to, to do on the way back. Um, but yeah, no, um, we've not really... I'm trying to remember. All-Star game last season was Trout versus El... Trout, Trout, versus El Trout versus the Owls. Uh, and that was a big one. So this game coming up right afterwards, definitely as much hype, if not more, around it. But will it go down in history having the same effect? And SB changes his car. It goes to the car, yeah. Car. Yeah, they both love it. That's not a... Sh oh, it's not Sherpa, you're right. It's completely it's different. It's the RLC SD cow. I think it's the first one. But uh, I saw someone say uh, the Outlaws in five. Uh, what, what do you think? Outlaws in five? I don't know hey, if we're going to see chat. Outlaws in five. It's it's certainly possible. But I don't know that we're going to see that. I think I, I think it's personally disrespectful to tell Espy that he's done in one and five. You know what I mean? He's only winning one game. Yeah. I think he's better than that. And I think McNair is too. And I think that this ball is... What a a save lot of these goals should be going in. Crimson is absolutely cracked right now. Out Crimson's of his mind. having a MVP level performance right now. He really is, and Claps is is the perfect partner for him as he's as he's doing this. Both of them are are absolutely insane. Crimson misses the ball. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just cast a Crimson. Absolutely, boom here from Claps down the field. First minute gone, and Crimson looking to see if he can make something up for Claps. It's the elk. Gonna There's just a shot by Claps. Seemingly give it away. Save. SP does get the beat. Comes Claps catching the ball, taking it to the corner. Claps to get it. Roll. But and I, that's the other. That's the other play I noticed. Claps likes to do a lot. He likes to get down to the ground before the ball gets there. Catches the ball on top of his car, and he likes to make that first, you know, fast movement. So that way he's able to kind of just get himself a breakaway if it happens that way. Espy gonna position himself perfectly in front of the net. Claps with the touch. Wow. Crimson puts it in. Wow little love tap from him you see i stopped talking because i wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen here but i certainly didn't think that that was enough i thought for sure that one of them was saving that mcnair was going to get a little out there but fortunately unfortunate unfortunately unfortunate that's it crazy yep there we go fortunate wow. for one team fortunate for the other but here comes claps and there can't get it past mcnair sp with a long shot Whoa, and that's gonna in. put it in they need that. They needed to stop the bleeding. They had a big wound so far. <laughs> definitely stopped it right there. And then we have a tight game for now. I mean, a couple of big wounds. I, I mean, in, in kind of just the style of how this game has gone so far, you know, what do we, what do we see? The Outlaws had to stop the bleeding at the beginning. Uh, game yep. two, uh, they were kind of on a drought at one point. The Elk have definitely been on a drought right now. Uh, but I think right now at this point is, is where we're most equal. You know, where they both have had to kind of overcome a little bit. They've both had to kind of make their own plays happen, make some defense happen. You know, right now they're both on equal leveling playing field. Uh, and it'll be whoever kind of steps up next who will see the success. Pass yeah. over to S oh, sorry. Go Almost. I, I just had to ride up for that. Yeah, just in case, you know, you never know. But I'm kind of hoping for an overtime thing right now. Ooh. I, I think it's time. I think it's time we get one. About a time uh, for that? I, listen, I could definitely yeah. roll with an overtime. We have not gotten one in a little while. Uh, we saw a bunch the past two series for finals, but we haven't had one here yeah. yet. Nope. It's been close games and in the last seconds, just a couple goals. But, you know, overtimes will be great, but it all depends on how they play right now. Claps trying to put it in. Touchback back there. Crimson can't put it in. Wow. There's Claps the on finish. the rebound. <laughs> and just look at these guys. They keep firing these shots on net. Crimson misses it. I'm sure he's furious about that. But it's going to be Claps with the finish. And ultimately, as long as it goes in, it doesn't matter. None of these guys are caring about the stats. They just want the accolade of the championship. And that's it. Crimson going to have a look out here in mid. Oh my goodness, it's gonna hit the post. post! 
Oh, and it's a 1v1. Espy versus Claps. Claps gets the save. McNair with the touch. And the Outlaws are definitely not safe by any means. They've got one goal, pillow goal. It's a flick here from Claps. Not going to make it. Oh, no. And McNair with the... Oh, it's just it's not even on. Off. See, this is the frustrating oh. part because I, we see all this and it's like, oh, it's barely on. It's barely off. And we get to see it from this yeah. angle. Uh, but it's not from the class. other angle and we see it from Claps' angle there and it's a goal. Wow. Unfortunately, 50 there by SB and Claps just fast enough to get there and get it off the rebound and off the corner, so. Good speed from there. Good speed from him there. But 3-1. Looking like the previous games. Hopefully they all do something here. Double commit there. SB does get the clear. McNair's oh. there. Can't get the touch. McNair scores that if he touches that. He, that's crucial that he hits that goal. They stop the bleeding right there with a minute left to go. They have a minute to press for another goal. But instead, now they've got a minute left to go. Not even a minute, 50 seconds. And they've got two goals to find. SB needs to find McNair. The passes need to start coming out. These guys are playing far too close together. They're not giving each other enough passing room. Uh, and ultimately, the Outlaws are suffocating them. There's, there's nothing that they can do. They're moving too fast. Oh, no. 30 <laughs> seconds left. What crazy you gotta man. do something. Oh. Touch off the back there. Yeah, no. As soon as you hear crazies, oh, no. It's, it's never <laughs> a good sign. It's not a good... No, definitely not. But, wow. hey. You don't want to go into match point like this. It no, is... definitely not. Get okay. okay, your backs on the corner. See if they can to... find one more. Wow. wow. It's gonna deny that. Yeah, just like that, we're on match point. We one more game. If the outlaws take it, it's a it's a four to one win from the outlaws. Whoever called it, by the way, the five to one, no. the five games. Let me go back that drag. Good job, Drax. Okay, listen. You're right. I could definitely see it happen, and it's it's definitely not out of the question here. Love to see the Elk try to make a comeback, at least get us within game six. But also Sly, he also said the same thing. Okay, we got a, we got a couple of predictors in here. I like that. Got to get these guys in as analysts. Um, oh wow. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's it's not really. Not really looking super, super bright for the elk right now. The elk are gonna just have to figure it out real fast. And and I think if they start off strong, they start off with the score, I think they'll be in a much better position than they've been in the past two games where the outlaws have scored first, where the outlaws have gotten that forwards momentum at the beginning of the game. Um so yep. I mean it's it's kind of just a difference maker and it kind of just depends on how the game starts out. There's no SB. There's lost no one. SB. We have lost an SB. Not sure what's going on right now. If you find SB, call 1 800 URL. We lost him. We're going to have to restart this game. Doesn't look like we're going to restart this game. SB left the match. Zero gone. He said server reset. I did not see server reset anywhere. Unless uh -oh. I was messaged. I certainly didn't see it. Okay, did he say it in our chat? Oh, he did, he did, he did. All right, Rios. We're resetting, everybody. Server reset. Awesome. And again, you know, we saw this yesterday, too. This is a tactical timeout from Henny. A tactical timeout. Um, he, he wants to make sure he has an opportunity to give his players everything that they need. Uh, a, a break, a water break, uh, a second to kind of just regroup everything. Um, but we have to make sure that you know, everybody's good in the server, that nobody's got any ping spike, even though this has nothing to do with the ping spike, I guarantee it. <laughs> um, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get set right back up here. Uh, tell me you just joined that game? Yeah. Awesome, we're gonna go ahead and give out this info. Bam. Yeah, Outlaws 3-1 right now on game point would be the fastest to eliminate a team in the finals. 
uh, in URL history, I believe. Actually, no, it was a 4 0 last season uh, against the Elk and Contender the Pirates. My apologies. Name is. Bam. Bam. All right. They are back in the lobby, getting in the lobby right now at the very least. Um. Yeah, it's, all right, so with, with literally just, I, I mean, I one game left. Did the Elk even have an opportunity? And, and take me through what it needs to be. I definitely think so. I mean, you have SB and Magnaria, like, you, you see those guys, you hear their names, and there's just no way to get forward one, right? That's just, you, like, right. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't know that. But, I don't know, they just need to, no you know, take way. it one ball at a time. What happened? We're seeing a roster change. Oh, well. Who are we, who are we sending? We are sending up Azira. contender Azira into the All-Star game. It's time for him to prove wow. how good he is. I, I didn't think we'd be seeing this, but Azira already up. I'm gonna miss that Maybe first touch, change. though. <laughs> Maybe that's changing me. I don't know that I agree with this call. It's certainly an interesting one that I would not have expected. Oh, uh, yes. It doesn't look Funny like it's an immediate work. payoff. Well, you know, that's just unfortunate. Crimson's just a bit better. That's there. almost that's almost a ghost touch, to be honest with you. Crimson definitely gets it above him there. SV not able to make the defense. Um, Azira in the game. Like I said, I, I think it's certainly a good call. Eventually, you kind of just get figured out. You need to make something different happen. But Azira is going to have to deal with claps. And he's going to have to deal with Crimson. Both very high-ranked players. And, you know, Azira has, has even... Even as everybody knows him, he's a very high-ranked player for contender as it is. But even for all-star, it's going to be a challenge. As Aspie looks for the double, Azir going to have an opportunity. Not sure why he didn't go sooner. Top shelf. Uh, Can't find it. Here comes Crimson on the counterattack. Aspie going to take it to the corner. You know, oh, I thought I was going to be in. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's time that we say who wins the car. Oh yeah, absolutely, God. Because, like, as I say that, like, nobody else has any good cards left. But I, I'm, I'm going to give it to Crimson. Those those few cards in the beginning, they yep. were pretty good. They were so, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. There's the shot by Claps. Getting himself a goal there. Oh, my. SB would have... Not a touch, I don't think he wanted in. Claps is there to capitalize on that. Wow. Outlaws seemingly look like they are gonna do it in five. Drax looks like you were right. If they are gonna do it in five, um, I don't know. We'll have to figure out something. But SB coming down the field. If it gets the boost, Crimson on the 50 belligerates this guy, uh, and it's gonna have to 50 without Zero here. It's Crimson. It's just, and that's the issue with with kind of bringing on Zero up here. I think McNair is the better I, the better idea there, just because of the mechanics i mean he spends all season in all spar with sb just to right. get moved out in the last game that doesn't make any sense yep. to me yeah i mean it doesn't make sense to me either especially since you've already been playing these games you right. already want you already know what you're looking at you know finish it out see what you can do but hey you never know right i mean, I mean hmm. it's just it's a tough ahead. call it's a tough call because i would have i might have made a substitution earlier but at the same time, then you don't have the momentum. Then you don't have the chemistry. Right. So I totally understand your argument. Crimson finds number four, though. And yeah, it's it's not looking great for the Elk. They're going to have to make some serious strides uh, in order to make a comeback here. Yeah, I mean, four goals. There's, all, there's, there's still three minutes left, so you have enough time. But, you know, you just got to stop them from scoring this many goals this fast. Yeah. Here's SB. Oh. Arms, it almost went for the flip reset there. Ah. Can't even believe that. Almost there, but not gonna go in. Crimson doesn't have much boost here. You wanna you wanna you want a random thought? I do, <laughs> I do. <laughs> So you know how like the Georgia Allah's, uh, uh, what is it, the logo, kind of, it's like the, the one dude? Yeah, yep. You know how he has two guns? Yes. That's basically just Crimson and Claps. Yeah, right there. Crimson's on the left and Claps is on the right. And that's just how yeah. it is. Um, 
Oh, and Aspie almost gets the flipper. Azira uh, is seemingly just trying to keep everything oh, in. Yeah, absolutely. This this contender's got mechanics. He should have been all star. He should have been playing in this game. Uh, to yeah, be honest with you. I was gonna say. I know how well. But here's SB getting the getting a goal over. Was that over two? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna get it past both of them right in that corner. He's gonna dug it in well. Yeah, uh, SV and McNair individually are going to be able to beat a lot of teams, but it's it's a team with chemistry when they go up against it, they're going to find that little hard stuck piece, you know, because they're both individually, they're fast players, they're very talented, they're very mechanical, uh, but you are going to have those issues together because they just don't look for those passes sometimes. Uh, you know, their, 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 ones, their, their ones plays are so much stronger individually than their passes occasionally, um, that sometimes it's kind of just hard to read what they're going to do, but Crimson... Gonna take this ball down the field. Minute 45 left to go here. Outlaws are three goals up and a minute 40 seconds away from being uh, All-Star Season 2 finalists. And that would be huge because, yeah, it would mean that Crimson, after all this time, would get his first championship. That's it would open. mean that Claps is still the only other player in URL who have gotten two championships. Well, let's stop talking about the Outlaws. Yeah, it's awesome the Elk right who are here. all the way back SP here. SB on the pass and the bump to give Aussie that ball there. SB wants it. it. SB wants it bad. Yep. You know, you always, you do gotta look at the mentality side. Yep. Going down, then you go down four. But it looks like SP's still chilling. No look at him shot. go for the flip. Are you kidding me? Hit it. All right, SP's feeling himself now. It's a game. It's a game again. SP has too much speed. Are you gonna kidding me? He's gonna flip past both of them and put it in. They only need one more to tie it up. <laughs> Remember that thing I said? M point BS yep. right yep. here. It's happening. We're gonna see it. SP's here comes up. SP. SP's still up. Oh my goodness, the Outlaws haven't seen the offensive pressure in a minute. Crimson with a little bit of difficulty here, and it's the Outlaws who are just kind of have to hope and pray that they aren't going to get slaughtered here on the offense as Clap seemingly gets it out. It's going to be Azira who's going to try to keep it in, and it's all going to have to be Elk pressure from here on out. You've got a minute to win it, a minute to send it to overtime if you want to see your finals life continue. SB Here's continues to go! Oh no. Good idea there, but now no one's back. Here comes Claps. Trying to take control. Pass to Crimson. Gonna miss the touch. It's in the corner. Here comes Espy. Gets the dribble. Crimson's there to meet him. Sierra. Gonna be sent to the corner. Claps is there. Gets the boost. She's gonna take it to the other side, Espy. Get the touch. And try and do the same thing back. 10 seconds left. They have to get a goal. Claps with the save. This could be their final attempt. It's gonna have to be their final attempt as Claps it puts it over. down. And it's the Georgia Outlaws taking home season two of All Star. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations is right. Now let's. Wow. I can't, I literally can't even believe it. That's massive. We could have seen it. The Allos were like, nah, hold up. Let me sit back up. We're not going to let this happen to us. <laughs> Absolutely. And they, they can't, you know, you really can't. Um, yeah. And uh, let me, let me also bring up the fact that, you know, I, mean, I know you're not as big in the, uh, in the two server right now, but. The Idaho Elk had all four of, of their uh, of their teams poised to win championships, and three of them made it, and not one of them has won yet. Ultimate is the only team left standing to bring home uh, a potential win for the Ultimate. Let's go ahead. I see we got Mr. Uh, Mr. Pants in here. But let's go ahead and see if we can get some of the other hey, guys. Hey, yo! It's been a little while, Andy. Jeez. So goody. So goody. Oh my goodness. I I definitely did not think that I would see the day where I'd be bringing you guys in here uh, to bring Whoa. you in the championship. And it's, and it's just, hey, no, yeah. actually, actually, I should say that. It's not that I didn't think I wouldn't see the day. I, know, I, don't, I, know, I, know. I don't know that I was ready for today to be that day. But you guys freaking killed it.
Uh, congratulations. Abs. You're nuts. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, CJ. I love you. Guys. Thanks, guys. Wow. I love CJ. CJ. I also love But I'll have to beat you tomorrow. Whoa, oh, but... in oh, in Temple? Oh, we oh, good wow. job. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it is. We, we'll see how we'll see how that you guys goes. are the greatest players. <laughs> you guys did. Right, you, One anyway, no Nolan. Nolan, questions. Yes. Give us questions. All right. Questions. So let me. So first one's for you. Uh, being here since season one, you've seen over a year of gameplay, at least six seasons with us. You've never won a yeah. championship. This season, your Cobras bring home a championship, and you win one. I mean, listen, it's got to yeah, feel man. great. You're a main character now. Congratulations. Like, Cobras won? Exactly. Wait, what? The Cobras won contender. Let me, an let, me oh, answer, yeah. let me answer the question that wasn't a question. <laughs> My bad, right. Crimson. Shut up, shut up. All right. So, yeah, man, it's, it's just what happens when I when I turn on my monitor. It's just it's, stuff happens like that. I, you know, I spent the past year, you know, figuring out how to turn on this monitor, playing Rocket League without a monitor. But, you know... <laughs> I finally put on my monitor. I finally figured out how to turn it on, and it's just easy. You know what I mean? Wow, wise words. I, I mean, honestly, let's just quote him. Somebody put it in quotes. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Crimson. And yeah, you know, knowing what you've been through, everything that we've talked about, everything that you know, we've even played on the same team before. You know, it, it's yeah. awesome to see you in this position. And to be honest, like I said, you know, for me to finally be handing out a win to you means a lot. And, and same with Claps. Claps is. Right now, the only player who has won back-to-back -back seasons in URL. Well, let's go Claps. And it's kind of crazy. Uh, Wait, and... Claps, you won before? Yeah, you I won, won last, last season. season. What's that supposed what? to mean? Not joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, still saying that. And, uh... no, no, nobody knows I won because I just got carried by Bird and oh, Axel. Can I, can, like I say, can I say thank you to uh, Drax for coaching for that game? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah bro. Big thank you Any to Drax time, and bro. big thank you to Akmo for being a great go, Drax and, and Akmo. And you, wait, 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 wait. We can't just say every name other than Andy Pants. Oh, oh yeah. 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 It's actually Andy on No Pants. Feet, Please yeah. get it right. Whoa, whoa, no. whoa not on stream. No, no, no. Hey, yo, no, hey, yo. That's for cool. after stream. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I like to hear that. Uh, Mr. Crimson, it's like I said, it's an honor. It's it's awesome that we finally get to be here. Claps, the back to back. Uh, how does it feel? It feels easy. Um, <laughs> second, second question, because we're not even going to, I'm not even going to entertain that one. Starting off 0 and 4 in the season on Drax's team, making a huge roster change, moving over to the Outlaws. Uh, obviously, it's worked, um, but that's definitely the right move for you. Do you have plans to stay on the Outlaws? Do you have plans to... Actually, well, we'll, we'll go into that in just a second. But do you have, do you have any other plans to go into uh, go into anything there? N nothing disclosable. but Nothing um, disclosable, okay. I mean, okay, I'll give you a hint. I'm going to Drax's team, which is... Hey, hey yo! Oh, okay, okay. Going well, back he's coming back, bro. Coming back. Uh, Andy, how do you feel? Not hurt at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ultimate next season. I'm gonna be the trying. champ goes where he wants. That is true. That is true. Um, yeah, I I don't really have a ton of other questions. I guess the only other thing that I have is you know what happened at the end of game one. You guys didn't look. I have to assume that it was you guys were not warmed I, up. You guys might just might yeah, have been on the same page. Like, like, it was our second game. I'm your spokesperson. person. <laughs> This. Whatever. No, no, no. Fine. The reason why I want to answer this one is kind of my fault. You see, I forgot to turn on Spotify. Here mm -hmm. he goes. I completely forgot to turn on Spotify, and you know, it harms my nerves. You know, I have this playlist. It's it's called Vibe and Chill. Uh, let's go this playlist. But yeah, it's called Vibe and Chill. Uh, you know, and I always listen place. to it every, every single time. You know, always play it, but I forgot to play it at the start of the game, and I was literally the entire time, I was like, claps, I forgot to turn on Spotify, claps, I forgot to turn on Spotify, claps, <laughs> like, I know, I know you've got something to play, I couldn't, I just couldn't, I can't play Rocket League without it. Yeah, I listen, easy enough, right? Yeah, I mean, you know what, you know what, I give it to the, I give it to the Trout, toughest, toughest opponent in playoffs, right? Toughest opponent in playoffs, Ow. Trout. But, trout? Damn. Is it not Trout? <laughs> Who is it? Oh, uh, I don't even the... know what you said. I don't remember which team it was. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I do, I do, I do. Elks, sorry, apologies. Someone, someone in Trout was messaging me. Sorry. All <laughs> uh, right, so Elks, Elks was the toughest opponent we had in playoffs. You know, nowhere near our level, but we've beaten three times in a row. Sorry, and that's why we won pretty much three times in a row. You know, we had confidence going into the second game. So, 
is what it is, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, let me, let me also tell you this, right? You know, we do this thing in URL where we like to have, um, we like to have our, our franchises and we like to change things every once in a while. Um, there was talk oh. that the Georgia outlaws oh, no. would, would be that team. And to be honest with you, I think it still is that team. Um, nah, 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 nah. We'll have to see. Are you going to pull a blizzard? I, I'm, I am going to pull a blizzard, but I'm actually going to oh. remove the team. We're actually going to change the team. But I'll actually mm-hmm. tell you on stream right now what we're changing it to. Oh, uh, I, think, I think everybody will like it. Um, so like I said, you know, we were potentially maybe going to re- change up things with the Cobras, but it's definitely out of the question now. Um, Good boy. But the Outlaws, you know, being being the fact that the Outlaws took us to the first two seasons, we're looking to have them retire here on this win. Uh, and we're going to rebrand the team because we think that we've got another exciting team, uh, not for Georgia this time. The mermaids, but for Atlanta, <laughs> and we're thinking Ooh. the Atlanta that astronauts. That's good. I like it. 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 Atlanta. I like. I like the name Atlanta. I do. I think. Well, it's the alliteration. I'm still. I'm still waiting for the Mississippi mud to come back. It's not coming back. Crimson. Crimson. Do you know where Atlanta is located? Just a question. <laughs> Elder, mate. I do not know. Atlanta's in Georgia, Crimson. Come on. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Okay, all right, all right. Godzilla. Where is Leicester located? <laughs> Leicester? In, in the UK. In the UK. That's all that matters. All right. So, uh, the real, so, so let me ask you one more question, just, just while I have the time. Crimson, you kind of ducked out in the middle of the season as well. You yep. came back. When, when was that? Like... Halfway through, like, I don't even remember. Start the playoffs. Start start, playoffs. Literally started the playoffs. So signed for the playoffs. Yep, yep. You played through the playoffs. Also, Aqua played the playoffs. Yeah, Aqua's not here either. Um, but Aqua is another key hack. part. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys are... He was uh, he was a big part of that team as well. So you have to make sure you give him some credit in this yeah. win as well. But you guys did awesome. Uh, but coming in, playing through the playoffs, you know, was it, was it tough to adjust or was it just an easy snap in? It was... Uh, Alex, claps, claps, you answer it. You answer it. It, was, it was it was a fairly easy snap in. Right. So, okay. Equal, I mean, we equal. slept. We we swept our. We only lost one game in the playoffs. Yeah, easy. they they also Perfect beat me and Butcher in a scrim. <laughs> Fair enough. That eh, it's not that hard, but they did it. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, can I can I just mention? Yeah. Right. So we've won. So we've won URL. Uh, All star. We're now waiting on. on playing Fortnite. You're like... I'm in, you're cutting out. You're cutting you're out. Cutting out. <laughs> this is why you need to put a mic in. Is, it, is this better? Is yes, better? you're good. You're yeah. Good. Yeah, so we've won, we've won All-Star, you know, huh? we've won this. We, we have our brother, Akmo, he's currently in Sweden. He's playing a dream hatch for Fortnite. I've so, been watching that all day. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen probably him. Watch uh, I'm hoping we win this and he wins dream hatch. Wouldn't that be crazy? So you better, Akmo, you better win dream. If you're watching this, and I'll you don't win it. dream hack. I will kill you, my friend. Hey yo! You can't say that on stream. Just... Alright, well, Akmo is help. asleep. It's I'm like a kiss. 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 Alright, watch it. Kiss. Alright, right. right, let me need a in game. Let's Sorry. let's go ahead and get back on track right here. I don't want a 20 minute interview. Uh crazy. <laughs> Do you have anything for these guys before we go ahead and end it? Oh, crazy is in here? Let's get crazy. Dude, crazy casted yeah. your game. Like, I have one question. I just, I, just, I have to ask this question to uh, Krim. Oh yeah. If you had that Spotify in game one, would you guys have swept? Easy. Oh we yeah. Oh. Hundred percent. I, I don't we think have, so. Have... I think SP had your number that game because I think SP knew what he was doing. Uh, oh, I, so, so, so he knew what he was doing the whole game. No, no, no. It's not even about that. I think game one he was on game. it. It doesn't matter. The point is that SP <laughs> had more control in that game than you guys did. Um, I don't know in the fight we're, about we're it, nervous. but the we're five, nervous. the five games no, definitely impressive. Well. Absolutely. Well. And you he know, like well. I said, this was a massive veteran game. SB's now lost both of the last two URL seasons in the finals, I get the clown, um, which kind of sucks. Clown. But uh, um, okay. you know, you guys have done awesome. Wait, Crimson big season. season. He was for ice, not Iceland. Yeah, for Iceland in threes. Oh lost. no, oh, that's tough. Yep. So he's yeah. definitely recovering right now. So make sure you go give SB some love. Um, yeah, but Henny, yeah. eh. Henny with one more opportunity to win a finals after having all four poised. Definitely if Henny's done it, 
Henny's got it. If Henny goes 0 and 4 with having four teams in semifinals, it's tough. In finals, I'm, I'm a, it's I'm a lose it. I it mean, even so the Cobras won one, but that's yeah. that's against <laughs> something else. On, but, on a real though, GG. No, 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 Absolutely. Not that <laughs> we'll talk about it later. I do want to. Hey, Ozzy, you're cracked, bro. Good job yeah, playing them. Yeah, yeah. They're out after the third game. They, they refuse. And that's why we wanted a new server. Because after yeah. that first game, we were like, SP Yeah, I knew, knew, I knew it was a timeout. I knew that, it was a timeout. After that third game, they, they, or SP oh, no, did not want to play the game. We knew it was a timeout, game. too. We all so, knew it was a timeout. Anyway, I've got, 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 got a head off, guys. I'm going to watch them. Get out of here, Crimson. I appreciate the time. <laughs> Much love. I love you, Nolan. We'll talk you, later, all right? Congratulations, dude. <laughs> I love you, Nolan. Say it now. I love you, Crim Killer. Alright, see you in a bit, guys. Alright, buddy. Alright, well, everybody, thank you so much for a great night, for another great finals. Uh, Outlaws in five over the Elk here at All Star Season 2. Uh, and we've got one more finals game left. Honest to God, I have no idea when it's getting scheduled. Uh, there's a solid chance that it could get played next weekend. There's a solid chance it could get played Tuesday or any time in between. We'll send out an announcement when we know. We'll get another caster on it, and we'll have this season finished by next week and absolute latest. Uh, but we think it, you know, at URL, it's important for each team who's made it this far to be able to put their best foot forward. Uh, and if a team isn't prepared to do that, then we're gonna give them a little extra time to schedule so that we can get you guys the best content that there is to get. Um, and it's just as simple as that. So we're gonna go ahead and head off now. Uh, guys, have a great holiday tomorrow. Um, and then, you know, end of school if you're still finishing up school, and that's it. So, I mean, crazy, anything else for you? Say crazy, everybody. That's it. All right. Guys, have a great rest of your night, and uh, see you next time. Peace.